In the previous video, we converted the Flipper Zero sub gigahertz read raw file into a CSV. In this video, we're going to decode that data. Okay, let's get started. The beginning of our file typically has data from before our remote sent a signal. Notice how the top of the data looks different than the rest? I scroll down a ways in the file and then add a comment to ignore everything above it. The length of tone is in the first column, and the second is the silence, measured in microseconds. A thousand microseconds is one millisecond. Let's look for a big silence number. There's one. Negative 12,000 is 12 milliseconds of silence. Let's look for another big silence number. There's one. It's also 12 milliseconds. There's a third one. How many bits of data are between the silence? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 bits. I recommend watching my other Introduction to RF video on the various ways an RF signal can encode a bit. For now, we'll assume that if the tone is under 500 and the silence is more than 1,000, that it's a value of a zero. And if the tone is bigger than 1,000 with a silence of less than 500, it's a one. We'll use Control shift alt to select multiple lines, and then we'll copy, and then we'll paste. Next, we'll group our numbers into 4-bit nibbles. Zero one one zero in binary is a value of six. Zero one zero one is a value of five. One zero zero is four. One zero one zero is ten, which is A in hexadecimal. This is also A. Zero 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 one is one. Our 24-bit code is 654AA1. In a previous video, we used the flipper read to create a subfile which had the following key. It looks like our keys match. Great job. It looks like our assumption of short tones being zeros and long tones being one paid off in this particular remote. I hope you'll join me in the next video where we handcraft our own raw file to use button three instead of button one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below.